What is up guys, it's Wack here, and welcome back to another episode of... The Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Spot Survival Series, and this series, if you didn't see the last episode, please make sure to go check it out, so you can see what the rules are and how this works. You can also make sure to check out, uh, the description, because that also has the rules. Let me pull out my notepad. Pull out the handy dandy notepad so we can keep track of who is staying and who has to go, my dudes. Alright. I wasn't really prepared for this, if you couldn't tell. Uh, <laughs> but last time, last time we started off with a Love Disc, Salazzle, Machamp, Lediba, Igglybuff, and Hakamo O. But Lediba was eliminated, so today our new Pokemon that we decided or randomly picked at the end of the last episode is Gengar and this Gengar actually actually I don't know if they're gonna let him in they did Mega Gengar is allowed I'm doing free battles by the way as well um, I am doing free battles I'm not doing raiding battles because that would uh, mess up my entire rank on there and um, I feel like people would get mad at me a little bit too but here we are, we are searching for an opposing trainer right now. Hopefully we actually find one. Um, I actually did a ranked battle earlier with a different team, and it worked. So hopefully they're not just like, hey, you have a Mega Gengar and a level 100 Iggly buff. What do you think you're doing, buddy? But, 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 um... Hopefully pretty soon here on the channel. We do have our free-for-all series started now Hopefully we have some more of those some Wi-Fi battles all that good stuff uh, outside of battle spot because I am looking forward to all of that and an even better news There is now a Randomizer or it is possible to randomize Pokemon Sun and Moon Which means um, get ready for a randomized Nuzlocke on Pokemon Moon. The only thing I have to do first is Wait for it to come out for homebrew so I don't need to get custom firmware because I really don't want to have to get custom firmware because I have to get a bigger SD card first and then it's just a hassle. I mean I have other SD cards I could probably use that I had for my camera but I have like a whole bunch now. But what I should do, an opposing trader cannot be found. What? What? There we go. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna look it up. There we go. We have somebody from France. We got, I think it said like Lisa or something like that. Lisana. Lisana. They got a Mimikyu. Uh, UBO2 Beauty. I don't know its actual name, if I'm being honest. My boy, a Lolan Marowak. My Lodic, a, um, Domize, and a Salan or a Salazzle. So, I'm almost certain it's gonna bring the Mimikyu. I'm almost certain it's gonna bring the Mimikyu. How fast is this Gengar? I don't want to go in and I don't want to go in and mega evolve way too fast that's like one thing I do not want to do that is one thing I do not want to do but I might have to it might not be a terrible idea at all uh, uh, movesets probably not the best I know I know the movesets probably not the best but I don't know who they're gonna lead with, but they have two ghost type mons. I know I could outspeed the Marowak. I don't know how fast Mimikyu is. Um, but you also have a bug fighting. I have to remember whoever I bring. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just bring Igglybuff this time. And then. We're gonna bring Love Disc, because I don't know how to handle this team. So we're gonna handle it with uh, Madness. But here we go against Lisana, who is looking as close to Lily as you probably can as a playable character. Alright. I have to remember, though, that... I, I, I have to remember that in these episodes, whoever I bring the first battle, I can't bring the second battle. So that might help me in a way, because I they won't be able to outpredict me, but... I wasn't expecting a Milotic to hit the field. I wonder who they were expecting. They are probably expecting me to lead a Salazzle, huh? Huh. Interesting. Um, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and Toxic. And uh, we're just gonna Venoshock, or Venoshock, however you wanna pronounce it. 
And we're just gonna try to take this Milotic out. At least this Milotic out with that method. Ooh, it's going for the Scald. It wants the burn. It wants the burn. Oh! That's minus... That's, a uh, minus five. That's minus... Oh, wait! But it also got Curse Bodied. And Curse Body... Well, Curse Body's guaranteed, I guess, if it connects, so... We got... We got... Uh, half of a negative. So how do we do half a negative on here? I'm gonna do like a little, a little dash. I'm gonna do a little dash, like a diagonal dash is my half. All right. So, but now we should be able to, because that lowers attack, not special attack, I believe. I believe. Oh, they are withdrawing. Did they? Did they? For, did they outpredict me right now? Is this in Ghost Fairy? I think it is. It might be part fairy. I don't think so, though. I don't know Mimikyu enough. I don't know Mimikyu enough. Um, what is Mimikyu's typing? I'm gonna look that up. I feel like it's Ghost Fairy, though. No doubt. Come on. Why does my phone not let me use my thumb anymore? Alright, hold on. Let me look it up right now. Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Um, is it Fairy... It is. It is Ghost Fairy. So, Shadow Ball is super effective. I don't know if it's quad effective, but it is at least super effective. But you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to click Destiny Bond because I feel like we're going down. Oh, Shadow Sneak. I don't like that. Yeah, I didn't get the Destiny Bond off in time. If uh, Shadow Sneak did not have priority, then we would have got that off. But Gengar has just lost one point so that's one and a half for Gengar and Gengar can't come back so Gengar is negative one and a half right now oh my god I just realized we can't really um can't really do much here they're not gonna they're gonna be confused they're gonna be like why'd they bring the love disc and the igly buff all right um I can I think I can attract but I don't know if it'll connect we're going to try the attract because I am learning this as we go, which is why it's good run free battles as well. And the attract does connect even though it's a ghost type. All right. And now, what's it going to do next? What is it going to do next? It is immobilized by love. They're probably going to switch out. Um, What else can I do? Hold on. What is charm? That's what I thought. I thought it was lower attack. Um... Does Rain Dance boost water type moves? Uh, powering up. Yeah, so we're gonna Rain Dance now. We're gonna set the rain, then we're just gonna start hitting Surf. And hoping for the best. I'm hoping it stays infatuated with me and cannot attack. I'm hoping the love, the power of love comes through. Make it immobilize. Make it immobilize. Oh, nope. You gotta play rough. It's gonna, it's gonna body. No, Love Disc actually lived it. I did not expect that at all. I did not expect that at all. One thing about this love disc, which is pretty good, is its um its speed stat is not bad. And this is a splash plate, brain boosted surf. It did nothing. It did nothing. Love disc, I'm sorry, my dude, but oh, love disc, you are coming through right now. This is literally like a super buffed up surf, and it's still doing nothing just because love disc. Most of its stats are poop. Its speed isn't bad. Its speed isn't bad, but most of its other stats are poop. One more surf, and I think... Oh, it had the citrus. It had a citrus berry. I'm hoping for the crit. I'm just... I'm feeling the crit coming on. How is he not miss... He only got, in, like, fully infatuated once with that whole time. All right. Love Disc is um, now at... Love Disc is now at negative, negative one. Gengar's below it, unfortunately, so there's no way Love Disc can be eliminated. Um... Hopefully, Igly Buff just gets bodied. Like, that is my hope here, but I don't think it's going to happen. You know what I should have given Igly Buff? I should have given it Z, so I could have Z metronomed. Oh, I didn't even put Metronome. You don't have Metronome. Wait, that's uh, Togepi I'm thinking of. You have Copycat. All right. Um, I really don't know what to... You know what? I might be able to get lucky here. I might be able to get lucky here. If Igly Buff can live this... Oh, Lord. Wait, I feel like that would... No, wow. He knew that Igly Buff has a lot of HP. 
Am I gonna use Pain Split now and it's gonna do nothing because... Yeah, it did nothing because we're already split. I could try using Copycat again, but I feel like that's what he would want. <laughs> I feel like that's what he would want. Um, You know what? We're gonna go for the Toxic. We're gonna go for the Toxic and hope to live. I should've, I should've, I should've definitely hit Copycat. I should have definitely hit copycat or cute char oh look at that cute charm has popped I'm not gonna I don't count stuff like that I don't count stuff like cute charm because obviously um, it is guaranteed if it does connect it is guaranteed to do what it does and the rain has stopped which is not terrible but it's not great I mean oh actually it is good it's good for us because they haven't made Lodic so um, do we defeat any of their mons yet no but he does have a Milotic that is poisoned. Um, do I go for... Uh, I think I'm a Sweet Kiss. I think I'm going to Sweet Kiss and just try to hack this thing out. If Igglybuff comes through right now and does anything right, can we live? We're going to live on like one. Nope. All right. Well, so far, after our first battle, which I brought both of our two mods that I would prefer to get kicked off the team to... Gengar got bodied the worst, so Gengar is right now sitting at the bottom of our points, which is very scary, which is very, very scary. And in the next battle, we gotta bring Salazzle Machamp and hakamo -O, which isn't a terrible set, but we don't know what they're bringing yet. I'm not gonna save that video. Alright. Um... And I've decided if these videos, of all my Wi-Fi videos, uh, battle videos pretty much, we're not going to keep in-game sound, just in case, because you keep in-game sound, then you get, you get freaking copyright claimed for Pre-Marina and EV Zemu. So we got to bring, let's see what they got. They got Gengar, Espeon, Sylveon, Incineroar, Liligan. Okay, and judging by our team, we got two poison types. Two poison types. Who are they going to bring? Gonna bring Espeon for sure. They're probably gonna lead with Espeon. So, we're gonna lead with hakamo -O because he's the only one here that doesn't get bodied by Espeon. Um, the Gengar. I don't know if they're gonna bring the Gengar. They might. They might bring the Gengar. That's, that's, uh, I'm not for certain. I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter who I pick next because I, I can't, I don't really get the choice, but... Alright, I do get the choice. I mean, like, you only have to pick your, your lead. It's the only thing that matters too much. We're battling Noel. Noel. Noel is coming in. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Noel. And I'm assuming he's leading with that Espeon. I am, I am very much assuming he's going to lead with that Espeon. Yup, I knew it. I predicted the Espeon. See, I'm getting my prediction games getting strong. All right. I just realized we get bodied by Espeon too. <laughs> I was over here. Oh, we don't get bodied by Espeon. Then I, I get in here and I'm like, we get bodied by Espeon. Comments are summoned down from the sky onto the target. The attack's Royal Coral harshly lowers the user's special attack. Um, I believe we are choice banded, right? If I remember my sets. If I could remember my sets, I believe I am choice banded. All right. Choice specs, I mean. Choice specs. Same thing. Different uh, stat. We're just going to go for the for the choice specs Draco Meteor and hope and hope that we don't die first, obviously. Well, it's looking like Hakomo O is going to be the one to um, get eliminated this week. Or this video, I shouldn't say this week because it's not a weekly thing. It's almost daily. Kind of. I don't even know who to send in. I need to see movesets. And I need to see special defense stats. Um, we got knockoff. We do have knockoff, and our special defense is 105. And Salazzle here. I feel like Salazzle is not going to have that great of a special defense. Yeah. Yeah, Machamp is our best bet if we're even going to make it past the Espeon. Because he might be able to live, and he got that Flame Orb. I don't know if the Flame Orb is going to initiate right now, though. I feel like it waits until you attack. I wish it would initiate right now, because that would be ideal. Alright, so at least Gengar's not leaving. Our Mega Gengar gets to stay. But... <sighs> there is nothing I could do here. 
There was absolutely nothing I could do here. It wasn't a crit, was it? I wasn't paying attention. I hope not. I sure hope it wasn't a crit, because if it was, but champ got off easy. Dude, of course we have to we're gonna have to choose between these three Pokemon to see who goes. We're gonna have to random generate again a number between one and three. And I don't even know who I wanna go. I want Hakamo O to go, if I'm being honest. Okay, I, I don't even know what to do here. My almost my whole team only almost gets bodied by psychic types. What? What? All right, uh, Salazzle just got half a point for the poison off that. Okay. Okay. Do we outspeed? What is he doing? Salazzle isn't leaving. Because Salazzle's right now at 1.5 points. One and a half points. Was there logic here? I don't know what the point of that was at all. Was that like mercy rule? Get another poison. Just keep it up, Salazzle. Just show. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. All right. Salazzle actually went positive. First mon to go positive in the whole series. Um, what was that? That was negative one. Wait. Did it get bodied? I think it got bodied, didn't it? It got one hit. Yeah, because he wasn't hurt. So that's two, because that's a one shot. But we did have 1.5. So we got negative 0.5. Which is definitely not getting us kicked out. But it wasn't positive, unfortunately. Love Disc has done better than anybody in both episodes. <laughs> Why? Is Love Disc just a little bit better than we thought? But alright, guys. We are now going to find out who comes next. Um, who is going to replace... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to leave so we can go look at our decks. So we can go look at our decks. I also plan on wonder trading soon if I haven't already. So if you're watching this video, make sure to keep an eye out for when I wonder trade off shinies that I catch. Um, because I am wonder trading off those in bulk. In bulk. All right. Um, let's to this music. Well, we can't hear the music because I'm having it blocked out. But let us check, let us check, um, let us check who is coming next in this series. So, we are going to, we are going to pull up our random number generator once again. And we have to first decide between Machamp and Hakomo'o. So we gotta do just a jumper generator between one and two to find out who leaves. Um... Which sucks, but hey. Alright, and our Pokemon that will no longer be joining us is... Hakamo'o. So, I didn't state that before, but Hakamo'o was later on the team. That's how I'm doing it. So, that's Hakamo'o that's leaving. Um, put an X next to his name now. We're gonna have to move on to that. No, maybe one, two... Yeah, we're gonna have to move on to our next... No, I could do one more team on this one, so... Um, now we have to go back and do it between 284, I think it was, and see who our next, our next Pokemon to replace Akoma O is going to be, and it is going to be 37, relatively low number, so let's, uh, let's see where 37 is, boom, 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 oh my god, could have had a Snorlax, but no, we got a Slowpoke. Slowpoke, not slow bro, not slow king. We got slow poke. So let me write down our team for next episode. We got Love Disc. Love Disc. We got Salazzle because Salazzle pulled through and was the MVP. No. Yes, Salazzle was the MP3 MVP of this episode. Uh, not Love Disc, I lied. We got M Machamp because he survived even though he was bottom of the charts. We got. Gengar, because he somehow also got away safe. We got Igglybuff, which is, I don't know why it's still here. I wish it wasn't. And last but not least, well, 
Yeah, not least. We have an Iggly Buff still. Slow poke. Oh, all right. There we go. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode. So if you guys did enjoy this episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Spot Survival Series, please make sure to leave a like down below to show your support. And if you're excited to see Slowpoke make its debut in the next episode, make sure to come back and check it out. But as always, my name is Cubewack. I am signing out, and I'll catch all of you guys next time. Peace!